guys, so I know it's been a while since the last time I posted a video. Um, I know I just recently posted my um, Pretty in Pink tag, and I explained it there that, you know, my my uh, my camera's been in the back of my brother's car for a while, so that's why I haven't done any videos lately. Um, and I know I'm late with this, but I'm going to go ahead and do my October favorites. Um, and I've got a lot here, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, for hair care, I switched it off this month. Um, I haven't really used, well I have my Kulalan um, conditioner by Lush in my shower and I use that a lot. I actually use it with my Brunette Goddess shampoo a lot um, and then I'll kind of switch off the conditioners because this one's a little bit heavier. And this is the Brunette Goddess conditioner. Um, it smells really sweet. Like It kind of smells like cocoa butter or some almost something real sweet like that to me. Um, one of my friends thought my hair smelled like chocolate when I use this shampoo and conditioner. Um, I don't know if you've noticed in recent videos that my hair has kind of like a red tint to it. Um, I love going back to this every once in a while and I started using my Simply Sexy Hair. This is the Color Me Sexy Shampoo in Fabulous Red. Um, this is a uh, color depositing shampoo. So, like, when I open it, I don't know if you guys can see but it actually, it deposits color. So they've got a, like, a huge range of colors. Um, I don't want to get this all over the place, but that's what the shampoo looks like. It's almost like a gel consistency. And um, this will stain, like, if you have a fabric shower curtain or something like that, be very careful with this, because this will um, stain your shower curtains. And... So yeah, you got to be really careful. If it's on a surface, on like a white surface for too long, wipe it off as soon as you can because it will stain. What I've been using for a conditioning, kind of conditioning treatment lately is the S-Factor Serious Conditioner with Sunflower Seed Oil. Great, great, great conditioner. It smells like peppermint. I love the smell of, you guys know how I love my pepperminty smells. Um, so yeah, really, really like this conditioner. Um, it's kind of on the pricey side because it's about $28. I think it's still the same price. I bought this a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I think I believe it's still like $28 for this tube. You really don't use a lot. It takes me forever to go through a single tube of this. So, um, But yeah, this is a great, great, great product for adding moisture to your hair. Um, as far as the styling product goes, you guys know that I did get my hair done. I got the Japanese straightening done. And um, for the most part, like, I don't have to do anything to my hair. Um, I take showers at night because I like my hair to air dry, and I don't have time in the morning to let my hair air dry. I spend five minutes on my hair in the mornings. Might. Um, so, yeah. Um, on the days that I do blow dry my hair, though, I've been using my Redken. This is the Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion really nice. It makes your hair feel really soft and it protects it from the heat. Um, this is the old packaging. I know they've changed the packaging since. Um, a lot of the products I own are old packaging. Most products are good for about, they have about a four year shelf life. And um, I think, I believe I bought this just before they switched out the packaging. So skincare, um, you guys know that I went a little bit um, like facial soap crazy this month. Um, I bought three new ones. I bought the 9 to 5 cleanser by Lush. I bought the Clinique, um, I actually still have it here sitting in front of me, the Liquid Facial Soap Mild, and I also bought Cetaphil. So I've been using this and I haven't really noticed like a huge difference in my skin, which is a good thing because I haven't noticed any like breakouts or anything from switching cleansers, which for me kind of tends to happen. So I switched to this, it's for normal to oily skin. Um, although my skin in the winter gets drier, so I may switch over to the, the Clinique one. But, um, it's really, really nice. I love this cleanser, and I never really, I guess, understood why people, like, raved about this. Um, I think I tried it at some point earlier, um, when my skin was a lot more acne prone and I wasn't crazy about it. But I thought I'd give it another try, um, and I really, really I do like makeup. This. I've got a lot of favorites here. For the as far as like face stuff, I really haven't changed up my routine. Um, however, I've been loving the Bite of an Apple blush. This is the Evil Queen. This came from the Venomous Villains collection. It's like this red color. Um, 
super nice. It's really pigmented, but you can really sheer it out. I've got it on today. Um, so yeah, really, really like this. I've been using this almost every day. Um, the other thing that I really, really like is the, I keep saying really, 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 um, is the Petticoat MSF, which my friend sent to me because it didn't work very well for her skin. It kind of, I think it broke her out. So, been using this a lot as a highlight. I like to use this, like, either by, on its own or with other blushes. It's really, really nice. Thank you, Rita. Um, I really, I really love this. And I promise you will get your package soon. I know I've been saying that for like a month, but you will. Okay, um, on to, I guess, eyes. Um, the main colors that I've been using this month has been, um, I've been using the Naked Pigment a lot, and then I kind of switched over to my Vanilla Pigment, and I've been using, this is actually what I have on today, I've got Vanilla Pigment, um, on the lid, and then I've got Swiss Chocolate in the crease with, um, Wood Winked over it. And then Soft Brown as the transition color, and Brulee as my highlight. Pretty much the combination, the eye combination that I've been doing almost every day for the majority of this month. Um, really, really like the combination. The, the vanilla brings like an iridescence to your eyes and makes your eyes look nice and bright. I use it in the inner corners, and yeah, so pretty much the combination I've been using. Brulee right here, um, Soft Brown. Swiss chocolate, uh, woodwinked, and vanilla. Um, for mascaras, there's two, or I guess technically three, that I've really been loving. Um, first one is the MAC Hot and Naughty, or Hot and Naughty Lash. Um, this has the two brushes. This is a really, really nice mascara. Um, the one brush here, the purple brush, is for uh, volume, adding volume to your lashes. Um, and then the pink brush, if I can get it open. The pink brush is for defining your lashes. And it's really, really nice. Um, it's a great mascara. I wasn't crazy about the Zoom Fast lash black or whatever it's called by MAC. I was not crazy about that mascara at all. So I was a little skeptical, but I've been hearing a lot of really good things, specifically from Miss Brittany from Clunts of Mascara, who is such a bad influence on me when it comes to um, when it comes to buying mascaras, because whenever she does a review and she gives it a glowing review, I go out and buy that mascara, which is actually how I came to my next favorite, which is the, uh, the Maybelline The Falsies. Um, this one's almost out, so I replaced it, and I bought the Falsies Volume Express Black Drama. I don't think there's anything different in the formula. I believe it's just the, how black um, the the mascara is. Um, but pretty much, this gives you the same effect. Super volume, voluminous eyelashes, um, and a lot of length. So really, really, really like those um, eyeshadows. Now on to lip products. Um, for me, going to work, I usually do a super neutral eye. Like, typically what I'm wearing today is what I would wear to work, minus the false lashes, which I put on just for the fun of it tonight, um, and minus the super bright lips, although sometimes I do use this lipstick. So I will play up my, or when I do a super neutral look on, you know, my eyes the rest of the face, I kind of play up the lips. Like, I might do a hot pink, or um, what I have on right now is the Viva Glam Cindy, which I really, really like. This is a good red if you're kind of trying to transition into the red stage, or to the red phase, or whatever it is, because it's a luster, so it's um, not quite as pigmented as some of the other lipsticks are out there. Um, like, you can hardly... There's hardly a difference between my natural lip color and the Viva Glam Cindy. Um, so this is a really, really nice lipstick. I definitely recommend that to anyone that can get their hands on it. Um, the next one, it's kind of a combination I've been using is Jazz Lipstick from, is it the Dare to Wear collection? I can't really remember. Um, now that's going to bug me because I'm going to want to try and figure or remember what it's called and I can't. But, so Jazz Lipstick with Strange Potion. This is also an Evil Queen lip gloss from, or lip gloss from, um, 
Venomous Villains. So it's kind of got that like um, coral color to it. So these two look really nice together. Um, next combination, although this is by itself is one of my favorites, it's the Clinique Almost Lipstick. This is in Black Honey. And it does not look that dark, I promise you. It's pretty sheer. It's right there. Um, and sometimes I'll throw a gloss over it. When I do, I use the Maleficent um, Revenge is Sweet, which is this kind of purpley pink color. Um, but yeah, I sometimes I'll use this on its own, and then um, I also use it with my Black Honey, just to give it a little bit of extra gloss, glossy finish. Um, last thing for lips, oh no, second to last thing, love this lip gloss, this is the NYX Sheer Gloss in Shangri-La, um, this looks really, really good, I've been using this with just like a nude lip pencil and the Shangri-La, and it looks really, really nice and neutral and very, very pretty. Um, yeah, last thing for lips are the NYX lip pencils, this one is in beige, which I will often use with the Shangri-La lip gloss. Um, pretty basic, beigey color. Um, and then Auburn, which is actually kind of, I've actually used this um, today with my Viva Glam Cindy, but it's a nice reddish color there. Um, and will look good with pretty much any of the redder lipsticks, red toned lipsticks that I own. Um, last thing, for makeup is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, this is in NW20, and I use this underneath my um, my eyes for the most part, um, and then sometimes over blemishes as well, but this lasts all day long. I will put this on at like 6 or 6.30 in the morning when I get up for work. You know, I go to work, I work an eight-hour day. Um, then I'm back home, or then, you know, I come home, I'm in the car for like an hour to an hour and a half to come home from work, and I mean, by the time 9 or 10 o'clock rolls around, it's still on, and it still looks great, and I really like this. Um, I would like to try the foundation, but it's got SPF in it. I'm a little wary about trying anything with SPF in it, just because I'm allergic to um, oxybenzone, which is a sunscreen ingredient, and I believe I'm also allergic to avobenzone. So I'm a little iffy about going out there and trying products that have an SPF on it, no matter what the number is. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that, but once I find out what the ingredients are, I may be willing to try out the Pro Longwear um, uh, foundation. Final thing, nail polish. Two different nail polishes that look almost identical, um, now that I look at them. First one is the Sally Hansen Salon, or Complete Salon Manicure in Commander and Chic. And this is an exact dupe for the Sephora by OPI Metro Chic. So, really love this. It's a great, like, toby purple color. Really, really nice for fall. Now, the next one is the one that's on my nails right now. This is the Chanel Nail Polish in particular. Really, really like this. It's that toby brown color and looks really nice. Again, with the release. <laughs> I don't even know what to replace it with. Um, and I think that was the last of my favorites. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!